Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Kelly and this is the Morning Girl. In this video I'm reflecting on my last challenge that I did in March and it was to declutter for the hot tower month. Um, and um, this month's challenge now in April is to finish complete my book up and writing. Because my aim, my goal is to have four books out a year. So that's what I'm trying to do. Um, if you haven't my latest book, Mum and Me, then check it out. It's now published on Amazon.co.uk. And so if you go into the uh, on Amazon, just put in Mum um, and there's the signal for um, the Me by Curry Holmes, and then it should come up. Uh, because I did publish it. Um, Edit last year, but I wanted to edit it a bit more, so I took it down and republished it at the start of this year. So if you want to check it out, you can, but I'll also link it below if you'd like to uh, check it out. So um, I got quite a bit done, there is still more to be done, and I would like to do it again because uh, I do have some clothes that are too big for me now, so uh, I'm gonna make get rid of quite a bit more if I can and because today I found some nice items in Sainsbury's that I wanted for this year, for the summer. So that means getting rid of this stuff that doesn't fit me anymore. So and it's just it's so good to have less but I still have a feeling that I love at the same time. And um and now I want to concentrate on my desk area because it is it's functional but it's I need a place for my jewellery because where my laptop is, above that is where my jewellery is, and it's um, and that's what I'm going to use part of that to put my camera on. But also, that's why I was using my tablet to do this video because uh, to set it up. But um, I just need some more space, so I'm thinking about different ways I can organise it so it's still functional. But I don't have everything on it, so um, but. Uh, I think with decluttering, I'd hate doing it, but I like the result once it's done. And I hope that in, in the in videos that you saw for doing that challenge, uh, inspired you to do the same. Because it just feels therapeutic and, and just it just helps clear away anxiety and anxiousness and, and feeling bogged down. As I hate that feeling. Um, so, and I, I'm thinking of you know, setting up a second hand store online to sell items. And I know you've got vintage in that, but I do like buying second hand. And I would like my own second hand store. Um, that's an ambition of mine. And, but I, and I may even volunteer to work at a charity shop for some time because I do like them and I love resting in cherry shops and buying stuff in there because it just helps save money but also it's a good way to donate items uh, the clothes that I and some books that I got rid of I gave them to my books that I've read um, I took them to a cherry shop and the clothes so I went from my son's clothes and my own with, with shoes and I put them all in the recycling bin uh, of course, uh, where my son goes swimming. So I know then that somebody else with that will have a chance to wear them because they're in good condition. It's just that they don't fit me anymore, have no place in my life anymore, I don't really care about the items. No items that I would never really wear because I don't really wear dresses that much. Uh, because my son loves to play sports and it's I tend to wear like leggings and um, fitness bottoms um, because it's just easy to wear and, and uh, the one I, I just want to say I would like to one more I would like to more uh, sports bar so if you can recommend and I'm, I find it really hard because my bus size because I'm quite small I'm about five foot two um, and so I'm quite short <laughs> and it's finding items that don't look like a tent on me but give me a bit of shape. I mean, this top I've got on now was my sister-in-law's. Then it was good to my mum, and she gave it to me. Um, and fits. And I love wearing this top. 
because it's quite wide but I just love wearing it and um, and so I don't really need dresses even though my a goal for spring was to wear more dresses and I do have dresses that I like but like I said because I'm always sort of doing walking or and I would like to do another running event I want to get back into my running I fell over I had a, took a bit of a tumble a couple of weeks ago and it kind of knocked my confidence a bit Right, so sorry, we've got uh, my mum came in there to give me a glass of Baileys. So I've got a cup of tea with a Baileys. <laughs> uh, my son, just to say, is at a, at a holiday club at the minute. He's gone to a holiday club with young stars. So <laughs> that's why I'm doing some filming now because this is going to go up tomorrow on Thursday. But anyway, so the, the, uh, the challenge that I did. Uh, you know, really, I would say I would lo I like doing those sorts of challenges because I want their stuff, but we still have things I care about. I mean, I love a journal, I love notebooks. If you saw my room, you say I've probably got too many, but I am as well. I'm trying not to buy any more and use up the notebooks that I've got. And then once so, I've and then I've ordered uh, an insert for my file packs because I'm going to be using. Because at the minute I'm using this calendar, this diary that um, I got from uh, TK Maxx. You see, it's the size. TK Maxx. So TK Maxx is really good diaries, by the way. And uh, but I want to use my file packs, which is here. Once that's finished, with once that diary's finished, with, and because I want to insert, I'm going to redesign this because this is going to be my. I want to try and have everything in one place in these file packs, but use my use my notebooks to help me write my books and manage my finances. But I'm trying to use have a simple system of sort of like. Uh, scheduled in and I mean I do use Google Calendar but to be honest I don't always check it so for me Google Calendar is more like a reminder and I love the app on my phone uh, that I've got which is a reminder app um, and it, it was all in my on my phone so I use it and I love using it because it's that one there I don't know if you can see it on the screen so that you can see it but uh, it's called reminders and uh, I use it a lot to to uh, schedule and that, I don't know if you see that um, but Google Docs I just set alerts just to remind me and to block schedule but I don't really follow it now as such um, and I believe in from I like a simple system where so that's why after I've used that current diary I want to use my file effects and that I'm going to try and use all the time. And my notebooks are all going to be for journaling, writing my book, writing notes for my books, and uh, anything that I want. And do my blogs and that to be kept separate from that file of facts, but still use it to write to do this and stuff like that. So it's fine. It's, it's made me see that I'm, you know, my life is a bit complicated. I've got too much of the same thing, and I'm like different thing I'll be shown by different things like pictures and that uh, on my desk rather than a load of notebooks so I am trying to think of an idea of how to still have the ones I've got but have less cut on my desk um, so that's the next project but so I'm glad I did that challenge because it's made me see that uh, you know to manage what I've got and wear what I've got before buying anything else um, and yeah, uh, I would encourage you to all do a uh, pick them up to um, help declutter and donate and recycle. I, I do love recycling, I do, uh, because I do think it is my role to look after the planet and not just everybody else. And I think we do need to, you know, care about the environment and care about, you know, landfill. And that's why I do it, because I. I don't want to add to that, but I want new homes for my stuff so somebody else can help wear them and uh, you know and get and give items. I mean, I'm thinking now that I could actually donate some of my unused notebooks 
um, but I haven't used yet. And but that's just something that just comes to my head now. So um, I'm thinking of doing that. Um, and uh, but I, you know, I also have started to manage my finances a little bit better. Um, that's one thing that has helped me to, to do, and that's along with the, uh, the challenges I did in January and February. January was my no spend. February was finding the right deals and items I needed. March was decluttering, and then this month I'm concentrating on what I see. So, um, so I was to challenge yourself and see how you get on and how it feels for you, and it's the result afterwards that makes a difference. And so, but there's still more to be done, and I will be filming more of a reset and a cluttering um, in the next couple of months. I've got my uh, new life coaching project starting soon, which I developed a couple of years ago, and it's helped me have a better life and a better year. And that's going to be my 2023 project. It's going to be all life coaching uh, blogs and videos, and then my summer project, which I do over the last two years, 2023 to have a better life and a better summer. So um, anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.